Hi, my name is Emily and welcome to Sweet Cake Patterns, where I feature Mar Faux Fur Crochet Patterns. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make this super quick and simple crochet, um, I'm going to call it Harriet the Hen Purse, it's a chicken purse, and you can see there's a little beak, a little mohawk, it's a little eye, and then this is actually a pocket. Um, it's supposed to look like a wing, but it's a pocket that's very functional, and then this is the purse body. I absolutely love this pattern and as soon as I made one, I am now addicted and I want to make it in all all of the yarns. This is using this pattern uses a number six super bulky weight yarn and I've made it in woolies. This is woolies thick and quick. And then I also made it in um, We Crochet Fable Fur and there's a little pocket and purse. And then I've also made it in Premier Basics Chenille yarn and you can see there's the little wing pocket and that's what this looks like. You could make it in really any number six super bulky weight yarn. I have my eye on some Premier Snow Cone in the color pineapple, I believe it is, and I just think that would look really cute as a chicken too. And so this uh, video will be how to make the chicken, and then I also will have a blog post and an ad-free PDF on how to make the chicken purse. So let's get started making this chicken. in the color oatmeal. Now I've used, um, I've made this chicken purse with um, We Crochet Fable Fur and Premier Basic Chenille and it's worked well too. So this is just what I'm going to use today. But any number six super bulky will work. And then you're going to need um, Premier Just Yarn Value or any number four worsted weight yarn. You're going to need it in the color Garnet and I think that's how you say it. And then you're also going to need it in the color um, goldenrod. And these are just for um, the beak and the mohawk kind of thing, respectively. Okay, so then now you're going to need a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook, a 7 millimeter crochet hook. You'll need scissors, darning needle, and then you're going to need um, safety eyes. You're going to need either 12 millimeter safety eyes or 10 millimeter safety eyes, depending on whether you're going to use faux fur or non faux fur and depending on how big you want the eyes. So those, and then what I normally do is hot glue the back of the eye or something to make sure they're secure. Okay, so to begin, you're going to grab your seven millimeter crochet hook and you're going to grab your number six super bulky weight yarn. And I'm just grabbing that super quick. There we go. Okay, so what you're going to do to begin is you're going to chain 20. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the two purse panels. So I'm going to work on the one purse panel on camera and then I'm going to have you guys rewind the video and make the second one um, I'm going to be off camera for, but you can just rewind it and make the second panel. So this is for the first panel. Now what you're going to do is you're going to begin by making a slip knot and you're going to chain 20. So to make a slip knot you're going to take the back loop, bring it up and over, and then grab the new back loop and bring it up and over and off your finger. And then you're going to chain 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. I'm going to scoop the yarn to the side. Okay, now for row number one, what you're going to do is you're going to single crochet in the second chain from hook, and then you're going to, so to begin, you're going to single crochet in the second chain from hook. The loop on your hook does not cause a stitch. You're going to skip the first chain and go into the second. Do a single crochet. So insert, yarn, pull through, yarn, pull through two. That's a single crochet. Now in the next stitch, you're going to do a half double crochet, so you're going to yarn over, insert into the next chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. And then in the next 15 stitches, you're going to double crochet. So yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, 
yarn pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And I have a video tutorial on how to make different crochet stitches on my YouTube channel, so just go check them out if you are struggling with any of these stitches. So yarn over, insert, yarn pull through, yarn pull through two, yarn pull through two. And I'm going to do the next um, total of 15 double crochets off camera, and then once you're done with 15 double crochets, I'll meet you back and I'll show you how to finish row number one. Alrighty, I just finished row number one, or finished the 15 double crochets for row number one. Now in the last, um, in the next stitch, you're going to half double crochet, and then in the last stitch, you're going to single crochet. Okay, so now we just finished row number one, and for row number two, what you're going to do is you're going to chain one and turn your work, and you're going to half double crochet increase in the first stitch. So that just means two half double crochets into one stitch. And then you're going to half double crochet in the next 17 stitches. And then you're going to half double crochet increase in the last stitch. So I'm going to half double crochet in the next 17 stitches, and then I'll meet you back and we'll do the half double crochet increase in the last stitch together. All right, so I just finished, um, or basically finished row number two. Now I'm going to do half double crochet increase in the last stitch. And then what you're going to do is for row number three, you're going to chain one and turn your work. And you are going to um, half double crochet in each stitch across for row number three. And so I'll meet you back once you're done with row number three. All right, I just finished row number three and you should have 21 stitches. Now for row number four, you're going to chain one and turn your work. And you can see this is how it's looking. And now for row number four, you're going to half double crochet increase in the first stitch. And then you're going to half double crochet in the next 19 stitches. And then you're going to half double crochet increase in the last stitch. So half double crochet increase in the first stitch. And then half double crochet in each stitch across. And then half double crochet increase in the last stitch. And I'll meet you back once you're done with row number four. Okay, so I just finished row number four. And I just increased in the corners. If you remember, that's what we did. And you should have now 23 stitches for row number four. All right, now so row, for row number five, you're going to chain two and turn your work. And you're going to double crochet in the first five stitches. So one, two, three. Sorry, I'm crocheting a little slow today. Four and a five. Okay. So double crochet in the first five stitches and now you're going to half double crochet in the next 18 stitches. So just half double crochet in the remaining stitches and I'll meet you back once you are done with row number five. Okay, I just finished row number five and you can see this is how it is looking. Now for row number six, you're going to chain one and turn your work and you're going to half double crochet in the first 18 stitches once again, and then you're going to half double crochet, or double crochet, excuse me, in the last five stitches. So half double crochet 18, double crochet five, and that's what you're going to do for row number six. So I'll meet you back once you're done with row number six. Okay, so I just finished row number six, and you can see this is what it's looking like. I've done 20, uh, it's still 23 stitches across. Now for row number seven, you're going to chain two and turn your work. And you're going to double crochet in the first five stitches. And then you're going to half double crochet in the next 18 stitches. So that is just what you're going to do for row number seven. And once again, you'll have 23 stitches, obviously. And I will meet you back once you are done with row number seven. Okie dokie. So I just finished um, row number um, let's see, seven. And now for row number eight, what you're going to do is you're going to chain two and you're going to turn. And now for row number eight, you're going to double crochet two together in the first two stitches. So you, to do a double crochet two together, you're just going to yarn over, insert into the first stitch, yarn pull through, then yarn over, pull through two. Then you're going to yarn over and go into the next stitch yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. And now you're going, you have, you have three loops on your hook and you're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. So you just decreased one stitch. 
Okay, so now that we just did that, you're going to double crochet in the next three stitches. So one, two, and three. And now what you're gonna do is you're going to half double crochet in the next stitch, and then you're gonna single crochet in the next 11 stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Okay, so I just finished my 11 single crochets, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to half double crochet in the next stitch. Basically, I'm gonna repeat what we did on this side just in reverse. So half double crochet in the next stitch, double crochet in the next three stitches, One, two, three, and now I'm going to double crochet two together in the last two stitches. So one, so I mean, yarn over, insert, yarn pull through, yarn pull through two, then yarn over, insert into the next stitch, yarn pull through, yarn pull through two, yarn pull through all three loops on your hook. Okay, now I don't know if you can see this, um, but hopefully you can see this on your project at home, but this side is becoming a little bit more, um, a little bit taller than this side, and that was the whole goal. So then the goal is, and I'm just bringing in my um, faux fur one, is to make the, the lower side the tail, and then the higher side, I don't know if you guys can see that, but that is the higher side, the head. So um, yeah, so that's what the goal is, just so you can get the vision. Okay, so now that I just finished row number eight, you should have 21 stitches, and you're going to chain two and turn. And for row number nine, you're gonna basically do almost the same thing, but a little bit different. So I'll walk you through it. You're going to double crochet two together in the first two stitches. And then you're going to double crochet in the next two stitches. Then you're going to half double crochet in the next stitch and single crochet in the next 11 stitches, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Okay. And now what you're gonna do is you're gonna half double crochet in the next stitch, and then you're going to double crochet in the next two stitches, just the basically the reverse of this side. And then in the last two stitches, once again, like we did on this side, you're just going to double crochet two together. And then you're going to be done. You have completed row number nine. Now for row number 10, you're going to chain two and turn your work. And you're going to double crochet two together in the first two stitches, once again. Then you're going to double crochet in the next stitch. You're going to half double crochet in the next stitch. And then you're going to single crochet in the next 11 stitches still. And I'm just going to try to hurry. <laughs> through this. Okay, there we go. We're almost to the end of the single crochets. Okay. Now you're going to half double crochet in the next stitch, just doing the reverse of this side, half double crochet in the next stitch, double crochet in the next stitch, and double crochet two together in the last two stitches. There we go. Yarn or pull through, and there you have it. Okay, so this is the first panel. What you're gonna do is you're just gonna tie off. So snip your yarn, yarn over, pull through to tie off, and now you're gonna make a second panel exactly like this. So rewind the video and make exactly this, or you can go to my blog post, or you can purchase the paid PDF and make this um, second panel, and then I'll meet you back and show you how to finish it up.
Okay, so as you can see, I just finished um, my second panel. So this is the first panel that I made with you guys, and then this is the second panel. And you can see that I did not tie off. So what you're gonna do now is you're going to um, chain one, and now you're going to single crochet around the body over to this side, and then we're gonna make a strap. So let me show you first how to do this. You're just gonna go and this is kind of not precise. You just kind of try to make it look the best you can. You're going to go into each stitch on each panel or each stitch slash row of the panel. And you're just going to crochet the two together. Now I'm really, it's not really easy <laughs> trying to show it on camera. so. You're just going to try to crochet the two together as best as you can. And as you can see, this is how it looks when it's as you're working on it. Now, I'm just going to continue um, kind of going into each row slash stitch. This should be about a total, you should have about a total of 45 stitches at the end of uh, this uh, joining together but if you have a little more or a little less as long as it looks even that's the only goal so this is what I'm going to keep doing I'm going to just finish going around this panel and then I'll meet you back once we I am to the side okay so I just finished and I ended up with a total of 50 stitches but I'm not going to worry about it because um yeah just because it looks a little bit it looks very even and it looks good um, now, one thing I wanted to mention is that when I'm when I was using um, faux fur, it's a little more forgiving, and you can't see if you like kind of missed a stitch or if you went a little deep on one stitch. And so that's why with this one, I did 50 stitches because I just want it to look as professional as possible. So that's what I did. And so the goal is just to make it look even. Okay. So now what you're gonna do is we're gonna make the strap, and what you are going to do to make the strap is you're going to chain 100 and so just go ahead and start chaining 100 so you can see I finished right here and now I'm just going to go ahead and start chaining 100 and then I'll meet you back once you have chained 100. Okie dokie so I just finished my strap and you can see I just chained 100 so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to slip stitch to the first um, stitch that we made when we are joining the two panels. So I'm just going to slip stitch. Now we actually have a loop and now what you're going to do is you're going to chain one and turn your work and you're going to single crochet in each chain across. So you should have a total of a hundred uh, single crochets and you're just going to single crochet in each of these chains across and then I'll meet you back once you have finished your 100 single crochets. Okie dokie, so I just finished um, my 100 single crochets and now I'm just going to slip stitch. This is kind of a rough, I'm not sure, you can just slip stitch kind of wherever you feel is, is best. But I'm just going to slip stitch right here to the, uh, the last stitch of our edging. And then I'm going to cut my yarn like this. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and tie off. And now your main body of your purse is done. So this is what it should look like. And you can see that this is the kind of the higher side. Um, yep, you can see that. This is the higher side and then this is the lower side and that was on purpose because now we're going to do the um, kind of facial parts of this chicken. Okay, so the next thing that we are going to do is we're going to do the little mohawk um, sort of thing on the tip of this front part. So I personally thought I liked it like this but you can also have it like this and this can be your side. So it depends on what side you want to wear or you could even do both sides so you can wear it it's so that's reversible. Either way 
works. Okay, so to begin, you're gonna grab your both strands of your red yarn. So you're gonna grab two strands of your number four worsted weight yarn. I'm just grabbing some yarn, okay. And what you're gonna do is you're going to insert your hook on the second stitch from the crochet strap. So here is the first stitch and here's the second stitch. So, let's see, yep. Here's the first stitch, here's the second stitch. So we're going to insert it on the second stitch. And now what we're going to do, so we're going to insert it on the second stitch. And now what we're going to do is we're going to grab the yarn and just yarn over, pull through. And you're going to chain two, and then you're going to single or double crochet three into the first stitch that you just did your chain two out of. So you're just going to double crochet three. I'm going to grab a little more yarn. Okay, so double crochet three. And now you're going to um, double crochet three into the next stitch. And the goal with doing three double crochets into one stitch is to kind of make it a little bit, um, oh here, I'll just show it to you when I'm done. I can't really describe it very well. Okay, so the first two stitches, and now what you're gonna do is you're going to, um, you're going to double crochet, so into there, there, and now you're just gonna double crochet into this corner stitch that we did a slip stitch into. And I'm just going to grab some more yarn. Okay. And finish off. So my double crochet three. And now you can see that is what your little mohawk will look like. What you're gonna do, or whatever you wanna call this, I'm not sure. Um, what you're gonna do now is you're just gonna slip stitch into that same stitch that you just did your three double crochets into. And that's just to kind of finish it off and not, um, yeah, just to finish it off. Now you're going to go ahead and snip your yarn. And you now have that is completed. So that's what it should look like. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to create the beak. And so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to set aside your 7 millimeter crochet hook and your bang for now. I'm just going to set this aside. And then you're going to grab your yellow yarn. So you're going to make a magic circle. To make a magic circle, you're going to bring the yarn to the front of your finger and around to the back. So you're going to make an X, flip your yarn to the other side, go under and over. And now what you're going to do is you're going to chain one and you're going to single crochet in the first five stitches. So one, two, three, four, and five. I think I said first five stitches. You're going to single or double single crochet into five stitches into the ring. Sorry, I think I'm, my brain's getting a little fried. <laughs> okay. So now what you're going to do for round two is you're going to single crochet increase in the first stitch. So insert into the first stitch and single crochet increase. Now you're going to, and that single crochet increase just means two single crochets into one stitch. Here I'll bring it a little closer. Now you're going to single crochet in the next stitch. And then you're going to single crochet increase in the next stitch. And you're going to single crochet in the next stitch. And then you're going to single crochet increase in the last stitch. And now for round number three, you should have eight stitches. And now for round number three, you're going to single crochet in each stitch around. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And I am just going to um, slip stitch in the first stitch just to kind of give it a little bit more of a smooth finish. And there you have your little beak. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna leave a long tail 
to be able to sew your beak onto the uh, chicken. And I'm just going to tie off. And you can weave in this end, and then I will meet you back once you have um, uh, sewed in this tail, and then I'll show you what how to sew on the beak. Okay, okay. So you can see I finished that. Now I just weaved in my tail for the the inner inside tail, and now I have my long uh, tail attached to my beak. Now what you're going to do is you're going to fold your beak in the corner where this is, and I'm going to put the corner that has the tail at the bottom and what you're going to do is you're going to count four stitches so let me so one let me bring it close so one two uh, one two three and four and now in the fourth stitch is where we're going to put our first beak thing so i'm just going to start at the beak at the top like this I'm going to insert into that single crochet stitch and now I'm going to go through the two stitches on each side of the beak like that and you're going to want to just tighten nice and good then I'm going to go into the next stitch and then go into the next stitch of the beak on each side making sure to catch both sides now I'm going to go into the next stitch like this and then I'm going to go into the last stitch and go through there and you have completed your little beak. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it to the back and I'm just going to like double reinforce it by kind of going under that and here. I'm going to try to kind of just make sure it's nice and secure so that if kids are playing with it, it won't completely fall undone, if that's a word. <laughs> Okie dokie. So I think that is good. Now you can just weave in your tails for this, and there you have your little beak. Now. The last thing to make, and I almost forgot to tell you how to make this, is the wing. And so let me show you how to do the wing. Okay, so we're going to set this uh, bag aside now. And you're going to grab your 7 millimeter hook once again. And your, um, your color A yarn, your yarn that you've been using most of the time. And now what you're going to do to begin the wing is you're going to chain 10. So... Make a slip knot and chain 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And now, what you're going to do is you're going to single crochet in the second chain for puck. The loop on your hook does not count as a chain. You're going to skip the first chain and you're going to go into the second chain. Make a single crochet. Now you're going to half double crochet in the next chain. You're going to double crochet in the next five chains. Two and three and four and five. And now you're going to half double crochet in the next chain and single crochet in the last chain. And you should have nine stitches now. Okay, so now for row number two, you're going to chain one and turn your work. And you're going to half double crochet in each stitch in, in the first eight stitches. And then you're going to half double crochet increase in the last stitch. So I'm going to do that and I'll meet you right back. Okay, so I just half double crocheted eight. Now I'm going to half double crochet increase in the last stitch. Now I'm going to chain one and turn my work and for row number three you're going to half double crochet in each stitch across so just half double crochet in each stitch across and you should have a total of 10 stitches and i'll meet you back once you are done with row number three okay so i just finished row number three and i half double crocheted in each stitch across for row number three and now what you're going to do is you're going to chain one and turn your work and for row number four, you're going to half double crochet in the first eight stitches, and then you're going to half double crochet 
two, to, two together in the last two stitches. So <clears throat> I'm just going to half double crochet in each stitch across. And then once I reach the end of row number four, I'm going to, and these are the last two stitches right here. So I'm going to finish my half double crochet. Now I'm going to half double crochet two together. So I'm going to yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over, insert into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, then yarn over, pull through all four loops. Okay, now what you're going to do is you're going to chain one and turn your work. And for row number five, which is the last row, you're going to single crochet in the first stitch. You're going to half double crochet in the next stitch. Then you're going to double crochet in the next five stitches. And I'm just doing this as I talk. So one, two, two, three, four, and a five. And then you're going to half double crochet in the next stitch and then you're going to single crochet in the last stitch. And then you should have nine stitches left and now you're going to cut your yarn leaving a nice long tail. And there you have your wing. So that's it. Okay, so now that we have the wing done, I'm going to grab the chicken purse and you can put whatever size eye you want in. Um, I'm not, I haven't decided whether I'm going to do a 12 millimeter or a 10 millimeter. You guys can tell me what you think in the comments. For now, I'm just going to put a 12 millimeter in and then you're going to want to put the backer on and probably hot glue it or something or you can put a yarn eye in, whatever you want to do that you feel like is secure for kids to play with. Okay, so here is the purse. Now what you're going to do is you're going to put the wing on the seventh row up. So the first row is here, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh. And I'm going to put it right here. And that's the top of the wing. Now the flat side should be pointing towards the eye, as you can see, and the round side should be pointing towards the tail. So I'm going to, I like to kind of have mine a teensy bit tilted up because otherwise it just looks kind of weird. So it looks a little more chicken-like. Now what you're going to do is you're going to start by darning your darning needle or getting the yarn on your darning needle. I'm not sure if that's what it's called. And you're going to whip stitch right along this edge. So I'm going to flip it sideways so I can get a little bit easier access. And you're just going to whip stitch this edge on and then I'll show you a really cool trick that I feel like makes this extra authentic and super cute. So let me finish this up so you can see this is how it is looking. You can't really even tell much that it is separated or that it's not one piece. Okay, so like that. And then I'm going to show you what to do next. Okay, so as you can see, I just finished whipping, or we just finished whip stitching this on. Now what you're going to do is you're just going to, you can weave in this tail and just call that done. And now what you're going to do is you're going to single crochet along this edge. And you're just going to work into one of these kind of stitches or parts of the stitch. So let me show you what to do. You're going to grab your 7 millimeter hook and your... Um, yarn for the final time, hopefully at least. <laughs> um, and you're going to begin by going to the base right here. I'm going to try this again. There we go. I'm going to insert into this back, into the purse. I'm going to yarn over, pull through, and pull through. Sorry, this is a bit of a tight one. There we go. Now I'm going to chain one and I'm going to single crochet into that exact back into that same spot. So I'm going to go into there and then I'm going to go back into that loop that I had gone in to do a slip stitch or to chain one into. And I'm going to single crochet. Now you're just going to single crochet into the next stitch and then you're just going to grab a loop here on your purse. It's really hard to show this on camera, but <laughs> hopefully you guys are getting the idea. Just insert into the next part of the wing and then insert, 
single crochet into the next part of the purse. Now, why I'm not just um, whip stitching on, and you can totally whip stitch the whole thing on. It's totally personal preference. I personally like the look of it being like attached to the body here, and then having it like, you know how wings are, they're not totally attached to the body on the, at the, on the other side. So I like this look just so that it looks a little bit more, less like a normal pocket and more like a chicken wing. So let me go into the next stitch. And you're just getting single crochet, and then you're going to go into the next stitch, and single crochet. And then I'm just going to keep doing this and going into just different like loops. There we go. And I'm going to just finish going up over into here, and then I'll meet you back. Okie dokie, so I just finished crocheting from here over to here. And it's approximately 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 stitches. Now, if you have a little less or a little more, once again, that's okay, as long as it looks even. Okay, one thing I wanted to mention is that I decided to do a little, um, I, I decided to continue my single crochet across up to here. So that it looks a little bit more like a def um, definable wing, and I can bring it down closer. So I decided to bring this, so to instead of just stop crocheting, single crocheting here and tie off, I stopped working into the back panel and I just single crocheted across the top of the wing. So it's still an open pocket, but it just no longer had, uh, it just now has a little bit more definition across the top. Thank you so much for making this adorable little Harriet the Hen purse along with me. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I have more, more free patterns and more tips and tutorials coming your way, so make sure you're subscribed and turn on the not uh, click the notification bell so you'll be notified when I post a new video. So thank you so much again for watching this video. If you do um, make the chicken, I would love to see um, it. Please tag me or uh, send me uh, DM on Instagram or put it in the comments down below and tell me what color you made it and I would just love to hear from you. So thank you so much again for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!